Hey, I'm Jonathan. I'm with LittleRedTug.com and I wanted to talk today about covering your boat for the winter. Now it's spring here in New England so I'm actually taking the cover off of my boat but I wanted to talk about a couple options that you have when you want to protect your boat for the winter. Up here in New England we got a lot of rain, we got a lot of snow and then we got a lot of icing conditions so I wanted to protect my boat over the winter. Boat owners who want to protect their boats have a couple different options. First of all, some owners don't protect their boats at all or they just use like a blue tarp that you could purchase at Lowe's or Walmart with a couple of bungee straps. And that's okay for lower end boats or boats that you're not concerned about, boats that have well drained and boats that don't have a lot of deck apparatus, so maybe a flat uh, bass boat or something like that. This is a little more expensive boat, so I wanted to decide to protect the boat for the winter. I leave the boat on the trailer. I leave it in my yard, as you can see. Uh, but there's a couple other options. Your first and best option or one of the options is that you can get the boat shrink wrapped. So that means that you take it to a marina on a trailer and for a fee they'll shrink wrap it. I compared prices for all what I'm going to quote you from a couple different marinas. Uh, the local marinas I found would shrink wrap a boat this size for about $18 a foot. So at 21 feet plus a two foot swim platform that brings me into about $350. And then if you wanted to add like a zipper access, which some of these marinas do, so that you can access your boat to do maintenance over the winter, that's another $50. So that would cost you about $400. The good size about that is the good of wrapping a boat is that it's dry and that it's secure and that you can trailer uh, the boat with the shrink wrapping on. It's pretty wind resistant. You have a couple options, other two, if you want to um, keep your boat safe. For the winter, some marinas have what they call a botel, or an option where they'll store your boat outside. Maybe it's in an undercover or a place where there's an overhang. Sometimes they'll stack two, three, four boats high and they'll put them up there. Some people shrink wrap their boat in those situations and some people don't. The, the pros for that is that your boat is out of the weather for the most part, not a lot of snow or ice damage, uh, and also that if you get it off the ground that there's lower risk of rodents to get into your boat. The bad issues for those is that you're at the uh, mercy of the marina to get to your boat. So if your boat is the fourth on a rack high up, 20 or 30 feet, uh, you can't get there to do an oil change or to do any of those off-season maintenance that you wanted to do. Um, the, the boats that I could find out there, I was running about $33 a feet to put it in a botel. Um, if you want to put it inside and it's heated, that's the most expensive option. That runs about $42 per foot so this boat here would cost eight hundred dollars if I wanted to put it inside. If I had a really expensive boat that I was really concerned about um, then I would probably pay that to stay, keep it inside. Uh, the pros for that is that you don't have to winterize your engine and that you have full-time access to it and that the boat stays warm. Uh, the downside obviously is the cost. There's some other options too. You can put it inside cold is what some marinas say and what the marina has is an inside area. It's not heated or temperature controlled but it is inside. The pros are that you have access to your boat again and a lower risk of rodents. Again, like your boat may or may not be accessible depending on what the marina says. For me, I decided to pick a cover. So the, the cover that I chose is I shopped online is this cover comes from Empire Covers. I have no association with any particular cover manufacturer. Uh, this is the one that I found that was recommended by some other dealers and some other uh, owners of this boat. Uh, this particular cover cost uh, just under $400 and included free shipping. Empire Cover sells two different versions of this. There's one that's less watertight, that's less lined, and there's one that's more lined with vents on it, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, these also come with a really nice strapping system here. As you can see, there's a number of clip strappings, and the straps have actually protectors on them, so hull protectors. Empire Cover says that you can actually trailer with these on your boat. I'd be a little reluctant because this isn't a custom fit and I think that there's a lot of room under here for air to get under when I was traveling so I haven't towed with this but I've been using this boat throughout the winter and I've had a uh, cover and I've had really good experience with it. Uh, the nice thing about this is it's $400, it lasted me for already this season, it's in perfectly good shape. I'm going to use it through the summer just to keep the dirt, dust and sun off it and I'm going to use it again next year. So already for the price of one shrink wrap. I picked up a boat wrap or essentially like a boat cover that I can use throughout this and then also use it again for next year. So even if I only get two seasons out of it, which I don't anticipate, I think I'll get at least those two seasons, I've saved a bunch of money. So I put this on here in the fall, um, I strapped it down here, we've had snow, rain, uh, torrential rain, wind, and the boat has stayed entirely dry for the whole season. Uh, it clipped in there 
Uh, there really isn't a lot of ropes or lines for the mice or anything to crawl up and I had no rodent issues or rats or mice or anything inside the boat. So overall I'm really happy with it. It has a nice vent on the top and then I'm going to show you inside how I modified my boat to make it. This boat is, this cover is not custom for this boat. So when you go to this company or when you order any company uh, cover, you're, you're probably going to order a generic cover. If you wanted to get a custom size cover for a boat like this, you're probably talking the, in the range of $1,500 to get something that's made that forms to this boat. But this does a great job. I'm going to show you inside uh, how I get inside and then I'm going to show you inside what I've done to modify it to make this a uh, cover for the winter. My boat has a swim step and a ladder on it and so I chose to make this as my primary access for getting in and out of the boat. It's really not that difficult. There's one clip under here that I unclip here and then I've just raised this up. I put this onto the swim platform. I lower my swim platform and I get to access my boat really easily. All right, we're inside the boat now. So you can see that this is a boat that has a pretty significant open cockpit in the, in the aft portion of the boat. Some boats may have some railings that you can actually drape this over. This boat does have a couple stays on the aft side here uh, where you could drape it. I was concerned because these weren't heavy enough to support the snow that we get here in New England. So what I did is I just used some scrap lumber here and I built an A-frame uh, to keep the cover off here. I put a piece of wood over and then I also put some towels and some soft items where there were items like the radar and the mast and the other uh, people parses that would stick up here uh, to prevent it from tearing. The kit does come with a bag, a storage bag here, and it also comes with a spare piece <coughs> of material that you can use if you do have a hole in it. I didn't have a hole in mine this season, so I'm just going to hold on to this, but it's nice that the company includes this. So for the $400 price, I got free shipping, I got the tarp that covers the boat, and then I got uh, this accessory kit here. Um, it doesn't come with any adhesive or sealant, but it's a really nice product and it kept my boat nice and clean. And as you can see, although it's a mess in here right now, it allowed me to do engine work, it allowed me to do batteries and to access uh, the cabin and to keep my Ranger 21 dry for the winter and the spring. So I'm really excited about having this uh, cover. I wanted to point out a couple of different things that you do see here. Um, so for one, this does have two vented ports on the top. So this was an extra option here. So this has some nice vented ports that are there. And also you can see that the stitching on here is double stitching that goes all the way through. So it's a nice solid stitch here on this uh, Empire cover. And so it really worked for me. tugboat with this Empire cover. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions feel free to contact me. You can find more information out at littleredtug.com when I talk all about my Ranger 21 and my adventures here. I hope you have a safe boating season with you out there and look for more blogs in the future.